Forgiveness does not retaliate. Romans 12, verses 17 to 21. Repay no one evil for evil. Have regard for good things in the sight of all men. If it is possible, as much as depends on you, live peaceably with all men. Beloved, do not avenge yourselves, but rather give place to wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. Therefore, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him a drink, for in so doing, you will heap coals of fire on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. You know, when we say we forgive somebody, it also means that we do not retaliate in any way. You know, sometimes we retaliate uh, in very passive ways. Uh, of course, there can be the violent retaliation where, you know, you, you speak harsh words, you do harsh things, you, you try to hurt the person back uh, in, in very obvious ways. Uh, but sometimes we try to do passive retaliation. And what would be passive retaliation? You don't, you, you know, you stop talking to that person. Uh, you stop interacting with that person. You completely withdraw, you sulk, you just, you know, avoid the person. So uh, that's also retaliation because you're still angry with that person. You're still taking it out in very passive ways against the person because you're holding on to the hurt, the unforgiveness, the bitterness that you feel. Now, what does the scripture tell us? The scripture tells us, do not repay evil for evil. So when you forgive somebody, you are not looking at getting even with them. You're not looking at repaying uh, them for the wrong that they have done to you. That is off your radar. That's off your thought process. You're not even considering doing anything to uh, get back at them. Instead, you've given place to wrath. That means you've said, God, you judge. If God you know, needs to do anything with that person, let God do it. But I have withdrawn. I've stepped back and I'm not going to retaliate. Instead, what we are going to do and what the scriptures tells us is, if that person has any need, you bless that person. If he's thirsty, you give him something to drink. If, he has, if he's hungry, you, you feed him. In other words, here's a person who's offended you but you've so forgiven that person that you're no longer looking to retaliate or get even with that person, but you're now looking for opportunities to bless that person's life. That is the kind of forgiveness God is calling us to walk in. Now, of course, that comes with a, 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 a condition or a, that is conditional because it says, as much as depends on you, if it is possible, live peacefully. Sometimes people who've wronged us, they just, go away. They don't want to have anything to do with us. Uh, they're, they're no longer in a position to receive forgiveness from us, or they don't want to have that relationship with us anymore. In that case, you know, we can't do anything more uh, to uh, bless them or, or, or reach out to them. Uh, in that case, we, we can't do anything. But as much as depends on you, the scripture says, you live at peace. You bless them. You release peace. Forgiveness does not retaliate. Forgiveness means you're looking for ways to bless the very person who hurt you. Let's pray. Lord, we ask that you'll give us the grace to not only forgive, but to bless those who hurt us. As much as is possible, help us to do this, we pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.